Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a, uh, a photo, uh, like this one that we have here, um, of, a, of a pretty sunny day, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a rainbow in there in the background. Um, it's a good uh, technique to know, a good uh, photo effect that you can use in a lot of different ways. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Um, first thing that we want to do is uh, find a good image, and uh, and I have already right here. It's a very high resolution image of a field, and it's a nice uh, bright sunny day. An image that you might see, you know, a rainbow in the background. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, make a new layer, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that layer one. Uh, the next thing that I always like to do as well is uh, copy my background layer, so I'm going to go ahead and just drag that into the new layers, so that I have a copy my background, and I'll go ahead and uh, make my first background layer invisible, and uh, that way we have it just in case. Um, <laughs> even though uh, I don't plan on really manipulating the background, I always like to do that anyway. Okay, uh, the the first thing that we're going to do uh, is something that I like to do in pretty much all my photos, and that's just enhancing the colors a little bit. This picture already looks pretty good, but uh, generally what I like to do is add hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I'll go to my adjustment layers here, and I will add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave that alone for now. Um, but I'll also go ahead and uh, I'll add another adjustment layer, and I'll do a curves adjustment layer. And I'll go ahead and uh, manipulate that a little bit. I'll put a uh, one point in the middle here on my curves layer, and one at the top, and one at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and just adjust the one down at the bottom, down into the left a little bit, the one in the middle up into the right a little bit, and the one in the top up into the right a little bit more. And if you see that you're losing some of the clouds, you just uh, drag it back a little bit, and it should uh, fix itself. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and select the layer that, uh, that we added. It's just called Layer 1 right now. I'm going to go ahead and rename it Rainbow. And I'll go ahead and hide my layers for now. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, click on our, our gradients. Oh, and I already had my gradient selected here. Uh, we want a radial gradient, and you have that selected up at the top here. And uh, then go ahead and just click on your gradient slider. Uh, for you, it's probably going to be from black to white or black to clear. But go ahead and click on that. And uh, what we'll do is up at the top, there's a little arrow here in the bar, in your uh, in your uh, in your palette here, and you'll click on that little, uh, play button arrow, and uh, go down to special effects. Then you will click append, and you'll see that uh, what pops up are uh, a few more uh, gradients, and they're all quite great. Um, and there's a there's a few that you could use, but the one that we're going to use is this one, and it's uh, it's called Russell's Rainbow, I believe. Yes, Russell's Rainbow. And then we'll just click OK. And uh, you once again, make sure you have a radial gradient selected. And then you have your uh, gradient tool selected, and just uh, pretty much just uh, click somewhere on the picture, somewhere in the middle, and drag uh, out to the edge. You can hold down Shift if you'd like. And that'll make something like that for you. I'm going to go ahead, I'm only going to use some of this, about that much. Um, but you can certainly do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, layers again, and I'm going to set this rainbow layer to screen on my uh, uh, overlay, or on my uh, opacity settings. I'm going to set it to screen up at the top. And that's uh, what it's going to look like uh, when you do that. Um, the next thing that we want to do is go up to filter up at the top here, uh, down to blur, and Gaussian blur. And we're just going to blur it until it looks like a, like a rainbow, pretty much. Um, in my picture, 68.3 uh, pixels blur is the magic number, and I'll click OK. I'll go ahead and uh, add a clip mask to that layer, or a layer mask, and uh, I'll just do that by clicking the layer mask button down here. And I'll select my eraser tool with a uh, 500 uh, size pixel brush, and uh, I have the hardness at zero. And I'm just going to blot out the area of the rainbow that I don't want it to show, and uh, I think I want it to not come down past the tree line. So it's just kind of up in the sky there, and uh, and that looks pretty good. 
And uh, certainly you could be done there, and that, uh, that looks great. Um, that's what it looks like right now. But uh, the one thing that I like to do is in my layers palette, if you remember, we added that hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go ahead and desaturate the main picture a little bit, maybe around uh, a negative 20 desaturation. And that's just going to bring out your, uh, your rainbow a little bit more. Um, another, there's uh, certainly more things that you can do, but uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop there uh, and let you uh, and let you play around with it. Um, the main thing here was that you could add the rainbow, and uh, you can now. So uh, I hope you learned something. Please uh, submit to my uh, my blog and um, submit to uh, uh, my uh, my Twitter and Facebook and uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching.